Hot Sauce and Panko is a restaurant on Clement and 17th Avenue in the Richmond District. It has been around for 18 months and has become popular due to its quirky style of food and wide array of hot sauces. Some popular choices include the Korean fried chicken wings, the Belgian waffle, and the Ultra Goliath chicken and waffle sandwich. The Ultra Goliath has led to some creations such as the waffle dog and my favorite, the pub hamburger on a waffle. Owner and wing inventor Terrence will throw in a new wing every week, such as the pesto wings, or the Persian wings, or a now permanent item, the Hanren wings. Hot Sauce and Panko is a small establishment with no bathrooms, unless you count the urinal that has the Yelp sticker and the George W. Bush picture in it. HSP is a lunchtime joint, and yes, they do accept walk ins. You gotta have a sticker with Bill Clinton on it too. Must have. And there's a wide array of sauces that you can test on the side. Now, however quirky this place might be, Hot Sauce and Ponko won SF Weekly's Best Chicken Wings Award in 2012. And yes, they do believe in Pocahontas and the Sith Lords. Now on to the hot sauces. Hot Sauce and Panko has a wall that has about 150 hot sauces that span 35 different countries in 4 different continents. Most of those numbers were just made up by me, but probably somewhere around that. They are not in any particular order, they are just randomly scattered, and if you have any questions about what hot sauce might fit you, you should definitely ask someone who's working there, because you might just get lost in the wall. Some of my personal favorites include the Widowmaker, the Colon Cleaner, and damn, this is hot sauce. Okay, so why did you start Hot Sauce and Panko? Because I was nuts. <laughs> no. <laughs> this, this gotta be a little more serious. This is for English class for for me to get a good grade. Wanted to earn a living. Didn't want to work for any corporation. Wanted to have our own business, so we have a control over our lives. Okay. To a certain extent. Okay. okay. More so than working for someone else. <coughs> okay, why hot sauces? Because I love hot sauces. Mm. Sauces, basically, it's, 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 it's on everything. You know, if you really look at it, it makes, it makes food taste better. It makes food taste succulent. <laughs> why did you decide to do chicken wings? I originally wanted to do a vegetarian restaurant, but in San Francisco, you will lose your shirt if you start a vegetarian restaurant. Um, white chicken wings, I've always loved chicken wings. Um, we're Asian. Um, we basically don't go for the whole chicken in most most part. We usually go for a smaller pieces of meat. The wing has the best of both worlds, dark and white meat combined in a small portion. Where did you get all the experience for the different flavors? I mean, traveling. You, you really, I mean, plus working, working in some, in, 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 with, with other people. Uh, and basically it boils down to experience and it boils down to technique. When you look at a particular, I, when you look at a particular plate, you can, you basically you can see how it was done. Uh, the flavors are ancillary. Uh, but if you want to go to it in a different direction and you, you've remembered a, a, something that you've eaten a while back and you wanted to, basically you wanted to put it on a plate. What is your mission statement? Food, like we give it to <laughs> So how did the Hanren Wings start? It's basically a, um, a request by friends to do, to, to, do, to, to do a wing for her. And I, I remember Hanren when she was here. Uh, I don't usually remember people because I usually don't look up, but this time I did. And um, so it was special. And so uh, it's a symbolic wing. Uh, it's uh, white miso and, uh, and it's sweet. You know, for the sweetness of life. Thanks for watching, and if you didn't already know, I also work here. Hope you enjoyed it.